Within Pro Tools, there are three ways to import video, and this holds for Empowered, LE, and HD. So the first way would be File, Import, and up comes a dialog. The important thing about this dialog is that there's an Enable tab here. If I'm just looking for Open Media Framework OMF, files then I can have that enabled. Windows only would be that. MPEG, the two different types of MPEG would be there, QuickTime and M MXF. So for now I'm just going to say all documents just so you know that that's there. And I'm just going to pull in a video. It's going to give me this video import options. I have three selections here. I can push radio buttons for the main video track which refers to our one that we created in our template. I can create a new track, or I can stick it in the region list, which is behind this disclosure arrow here. In terms of where I want this, I can put it at the session start, and that'll deadhead it right up to 1.0. I can put it at my current selection, or I could put it at spot, which refers to time code. And then it gives me these options here. If I happen to have an existing playhead or video in my video track in LE or HD, I can clear this right here as well. Import video from file. I'm going to stick that on. It asks me, okay, take these files and convert them over. And there's video. Okay. The second way is, I'm just going to revert this while I'm talking. The second way is simply to drag the video directly from your desktop straight on. And I can do it this way. And I get the very same dialog. And I say OK. And it gives me the same place. Choose a folder. I stick it down there and it converts it. And then I have video that One. way. RCA Victor Stereo Orchestra. OK, the last way is I'll revert this just so we start clean once again. The last way is to import session data. This works in Empowered as well. It's pretty, pretty, pretty powerful. Okay, so I just steer it to any Pro Tools session. And here, once again, I have a filter button. And this is where I can go back through legacy sessions and filter all the various things. Again, OMF is Open Media Framework. It's it's how video gets transferred from video application, editing applications to audio. And AAF is the same. Just so you know. And then I have all documents here. When I say open, I get this folder here, this dialog here. On my audio options, I can copy this from the source into my folder. That's the recommended. In terms of video, I can do the same, copy or link. On the tracks, I can do my assignments here. I can designate a new track, or I can designate, go to my V track, which is our video track. And the same with all the tabs. I can do my track assignments here. I can do everything. It's, it pays not to hurry when you're looking at this. In terms of the track data, this goes off screen, but it, I can do alternate playlists and automation, plugin assignments, everything. This is quite, quite good. So time code, these are self-explanatory, uh, maybe not this moment, but they will be. And you can set up offsets and everything. So this is pretty heavy through here. If your session is old and it's in 8-bit or 16-bit, you can convert. So then you say OK, and you're done.